place to call home. Muck stitches crew hold a common thread. A misfit bunch where memories shred. The guardians so strong and true, protecting the crew as they journey through. One that puts their hearts in twine, sailing through the memories left behind. Stitching the bonds of forever time, sailing to where the sea meets the sky. Way weavers weave a tapestry grand, unraveling. All right, everybody, welcome to hell, episode eight of this month of our hell. Um, I have unmuted the stream, which was a mistake of mine um, to turn myself. So today we are playing ish. We are playing Mouse Guard adjacent. We're doing the best we can with Tomb Squad, but we have a guest DM. Cole is going to run Tomb Squad through this. Oh, yeah. I don't know what we're doing, so this will be as much of a surprise. It's very similar to when I was just watching Professor Winter play. I was like, I don't know what's happening. Um, Vala, keep hold on to that pet rescue card. This Friday, we are going to um, release a 13 pet spooky one that's going to be, um, all of them will be up on Friday, and there will be 12 of those cards because Vala's got the first one of those. So, look forward to that. That is going to be Friday. Um, but yeah, we're playing Mouse Guard with Tomb Squad. I'm going to introduce everybody and then I'm just going to let them go. All right. Oh, wait. Are we going to do the scratch off for Akana? Is Akana here? There's Akana. Should we do that before the introductions? That's up to you, sir. Go for it. Nika, do you got the thing ready? Oh, that's just not good. The the teeth are just not fun for me. <laughs> Wait, we're watching teeth? It can be ready. Give me two shakes. I don't want to watch teeth again. 
I feel like once was enough, you know? Once, once did it. You know, once, once, like, was super good. Actually, to be honest, to, like, to be, like, perfectly honest, it was fine. The movie was fine. That's it. That's all I have to say. It was fine. It was a little overrated. Teeth? <laughs> Teeth, yeah. Like, I had a good time watching it, like, together, as a group. But, like... yeah. Nice. That's the that's the one and only time that I ever watched that movie was with you guys. Yeah, same. The one and only time that I watched a lot of movies. Jesus. I did not go out and look up look for <laughs> Zebra Man. Yeah, I didn't go for round twos. Zebra Man. I don't know. I still hold Black Sheep in my heart. Oh gosh. Right. I still hold He Man and the Masters <laughs> of the Universe in my heart. That's the Good. best freaking movie in the universe. All right, Akana, there's only one number left on this one, so we're just going to scratch it off right here. Uh... All right. What the Aww. fuck is it? All right. This is, this is a pet named Crystal. She is from um, Sonnery. She is a Kelpie. Um, she is from where Sonnery touches... Um, uh, seasonal, like right in the the locks where um, Kira and Katori's God of War lives, live these things. Crystal's a playful Kelpie with webbed paws and a love for water, enjoys splashing in puddles, and you see, often see darting through reeds in search of aquatic creatures. They return with the bones of said animals stripped of their flesh and perfect for crafting. How very spooky month of you. Didn't a Tumblr girl get in trouble for that? So, yeah, there you go, Akana. You have Crystal, the kelp puppy, um, that will bring you bones. Perfect for crafting. The very tip is where um, Sonori touches. Oh, just the tip, huh? So um, just the tip. Just, just the tip. The tip. Just the tip. Fuck, fuck. Anyway, so we have Josh playing blueberries. Nightmare, nightmare. There's a nightmare. We have Carrie playing Rosie. It's Rosie. We got Ro playing Tarkus. Hello. We got Not Forgiven playing Soki. That's me. I was told to play this card, so I'm doing it. I'm passing it on. It's not my fault. I'll play somebody else. Okay, so Silky wants to play that and pass it, so the game on Friday, the Blades in the Dark game, has gotten significantly more challenging for Akana and for Iskra and for Rennick and for Royce, who Royce slash Cole is our GM for today, and Go ahead, guys. Have fun. All right, everybody. I hope you're ready to play some interesting mouse guard. Oh, uh, I make I'm no... Wait, I thought this was learning to cook 101. What the... oh, that's down the hall. We'll do that later. Uh, we'll burn right, well, I guess I'm down. here. I'll do this then. Uh, but, uh, yeah, today... Tomb Squad has been sent to investigate a uh, anomaly Ooh. that's popped up on a small island to the southwest from the coast of Yoke. Uh, it's a small known island uh, named only by a couple adventurers that have been around a while known as Mouse Home. Uh, it's generally avoided, as anybody who visits this island uh, tends to experience some shrinkage. A small island makes small things. Uh, when visiting the island, it's covered in tall trees, vines, and dense brush. It makes it very hard to see anything further than the beach. Uh, though aligning the beach, right where the brush meets the sand are occasional plumes of mushrooms with specks of white, red, other colors, all fantastical. And that's where 
we're going to begin. As despite the unknown quantity of the island, you've been sent, and upon landing on the beach, you find a wave of dizziness, and then all of you just lose consciousness. Shortly after you wake up, and you're still on the beach, and as you look around, you notice these trees are taller. The sun just that much brighter and higher up in the sky. And glancing around to each other, you notice that you uh, have undergone some changes. I was in the pool. You guys are so cute. I see we've made it back. Back to where? Marcus begins manual breathing. <laughs> well, yes, as a armadillo, you do need to breathe now. <laughs> um, but you have been given a mission to investigate the jungle and figure out what is causing an anomaly. I'm convinced it was the pool. <laughs> the pool. I was in the pool. It's caused a shrinkage. I mean, that's... just like magic water. Mm. I mean, sort of. Did we have any sort of direction in the forest, or was it just forest as a whole? Go explore. Well, if you glance towards the forest, uh, you can make out uh, little trails that kind of dart in and off from the beach. Uh, those seem to be your best bet. Hmm. All right, Tomb Squad, what do you think? Which trail do you think we should take through this thick jungle? Because we got to investigate this anomaly. Which one is less traveled? Uh, I don't know. Let me lick my finger and put it up in the air and I will tell you. Hold on one second. Well, if you would like to make a Pathfinder check, you may roll a number of D6s that you feel is appropriate. Hmm. I got a three. Well, it's not a success. But to be fair, finding your way through random underbrush has never been your strong suit. Um, you can point out just a random trail that seems to be wide enough for you guys to follow. And that seems pretty decent to start. All right, fam, let's hop to it. I think we should get going on this trail here. All right, blueberries, lead the way. All right, everybody in the car. I brought a blue uh, Buick LeSabre with us, so we're just going to we're gonna oh, go down that trail. Where were you keeping this Buick, Buick LeSabre? Yeah. yeah, baby. Where were you keeping it? In the saber. In the garage, obviously. We're keeping that shit nice. The garage where? Oh, the garage at base. We drove the it base. out. Oh, you drove it. How did you get here? <laughs> we drove it out! But but how? With there, wheels. What do you mean how? There's uh, water. And cars don't drive on water. There was a ferry. I had sunglasses on. It was fun. Hmm. Uh, well, look around for your Buick Le Saber. <laughs> you sure it was here? It was, you sure you was here when you got here? Wait, it's, who stole my car? Did you Did leave someone? the doors unlocked? 
I mean, I had the keys on the little sun visor thing like you do in the 90s, but I didn't oh, think that would on. bite me. You uh, can't be doing that in strange places. You know uh, that. I, I would have laughed if we did have the car, but now we're too small to use it. Yeah, that would have been hilarious. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's far away. We're now tiny. Uh, somebody stole the car. Way to right, go, well, I guess let's let's start walking with our feet. And I hope that you start the insurance claim process now, because that's going to be a nightmare. Oh, I already got it started on my phone. It's it, we're good. All right, you got that all state, or you got that liberty, liberty. I really wish I had the uh, like a good neighbor state farm is there, because then I could like snap us to wherever we wanted to go. The, the Thanos snap yeah. snap to wherever you need to go, or I could yeah, like right. snap us a hot tub or something. I don't know. But I, I guess we have to walk now. As you begin to walk, uh, you you trip over an item on the sand. Wow. Oh, man, did anybody bring a magnet or a metal detector? It, it is, in fact, a small toy replica of your Buick LeSabre. <gasps> Who left their Hot Wheels on the beach? I think it's yours, Blue. I mean, that's definitely a possibility. If, if you uh, examine it closely and you, and you look on the rear view mirror, you can see, you know, your, your fuzzy dice that you left in there. It's just everything's been miniaturized. Wait a minute. Did we get bigger? Did everything or did we get little? We got small, bro. Guess the car's extra small then. It is quite a mini. What is this car for ants? <laughs> Probably. Yeah, oh, good for them. I'm glad they got some to head into uh, the jungle. Yeah. Oh yeah, jungle. Let's go. The mighty, right, let's roll, guys. mighty jungle. Let's go, Tomb Squad. Tomb Squad. Tomb Squad. Whoa. Wait, now we have fun and games because we're in the jungle. That's right. <laughs> Everything that I want. Yes. <laughs> Sorry, real quick. Um, A treat bag has been played for Soki and I rolled a 90 on it. Um... If you want to allow this, um, Cole, there is a, a mirror, uh, a mirror, it's a phantom mirror, sometimes shows the reflection of those long gone. I mean, sure, Soki just has that. Yeah, I'll add it to my collection. He's just found in your pockets. There, that's that's yours now. So if I look into it and say Biggie Smalls three times, Biggie Smalls will appear, right? He, he, he might pop out. Yes, well, yes, 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 yes. I'm very go. upset that he's missing the party because of you. <laughs> this might be a completely different game if that happens. Mm. Uh, but the jungle is hot, humid, and. The brush is dense. Now, you all are accustomed to a nice joyride. Uh, you know, wheels, yeah. so to speak. Uh, so, slogging through the underbrush is, is a, an arduous task. Uh, but as you sludge through the underbrush, you come face to face with three... Furry people. Oh no, are they wearing diapers too? No, they're very much not wearing diapers. Are they my siblings? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> you see three mice before you. Are they blind? 
Unfortunately, no. They they can see everything about you. I'm glad this is more five west of. Oh, I uh, really hope they like the cut of my jib, man. Well, since they can see. Oh man, that's a lot of pressure. That's six eyes. Just gonna just gonna wave at him. Hello. Hey, my guys. What's up? Um, the one in the middle uh, will saunter up to you all, keeping a little bit of a distance. And she she looks you over. And now, this is a mouse person. Um, what's interesting about her is on her back, she is wielding a greatsword. Oh that's about twice the size she is. Uh, the others that you see behind her uh, one is holding a bow, and the other has got a crossbow equivalent, you'd assume. And kind of hiding out of the way is also a small beetle-like person. Beetle person? <laughs> beetle person. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, about half the height as one of the mouse. <laughs> Well, he can't be one of Bless the beetle boys. Bless his heart! I love out. him! Oh, I want to squeeze the beetle man, but I don't want to hurt him, so I'm not gonna. But just know, beetle man, I think you are so cute. Oh my god, can I get my picture taken with beetle man? He's precious. Perhaps. It reminds uh, me of beetle borgs. <laughs> uh, the, He's the so one mouse, spiky! The one mouse I that steps him. up, uh, she calls out and says, Who are you? I need to know who you are. Um. All right, guys, we've prepared for this, right? All right. Uh, so we got poses, right? We got poses. We're ready, ready for this, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I got all poses. Right, right. I got poses. All right. Okay. On three. <laughs> One, two, three. We are Team Squad. Team Squad. Team Squad. Are we just getting you posing? Probably. Yep. I'm in my best Sailor Moon Lisa and pose. What? What's a tomb squad? Well, uh, we're well, adventurers. Yeah. The like, best adventurer group will have you know. Mystery solvers. We're just some little guys. Adventurers. Okay, okay. I. What are you? You're, you're not mice. And you're definitely not beetles. Uh, I'm a squirrel. Yeah, I'm a raccoon. Raccoon, okay. I am a fox. A fox? You're quite quite small for a fox. I am a chibi fox. <laughs> oh, I see, I see. But only when I'm here, apparently. Yeah, we're all the tuned editions of our former selves. What what are you normally like? Are you like mice or big? Very no, the big. same, just bigger. Yeah, yeah, oh, big. Hmm. Oh, you guys are the same but bigger. Mm. Yeah, usually you guys are like way smaller. We we are mouse sized. I, I I don't understand what you're talking about. Well, like, regularly to us, you guys are, like, way small. But now we're the same size, I guess. I'll take your word for it. Uh, regardless, what, what brings you to the outskirts of the borough? So remember that whole we used to be bigger thing? Uh, that, for the most part. I'm trying to figure out why. Surely, if you're here, this is your normal size here. Is that is that all? Just you were changing sizes. Well, we heard that you guys might be having some problems around here, and we're trying to figure out where those problems are so we can put a stop to them. Well, that is uh, quite fortuitous. 
Yeah, we're the good guys for the most part. We'll see. We'll see about that. As for right now, I suppose it wouldn't hurt you to bring you back to the borough rhubarb. Sounds fun. Please follow me uh, and try and keep your limbs away from the vines. They like to bite. Uh, uh yeah, Mario like, Kart rules. Yeah. Like Venus flytrap bite? Uh, no, no, no. It more of uh, uh, drain your life from your body type of bite. Oh, shit. Oh, no, right. they're like hentai monsters. They, they, they're like blood. Oh, no, they're like weird Ancient. hentai monsters. <laughs> it's, not, it's not type of monster, all right? <laughs> I, I don't think we're allowed to do that on Twitch. Well, lead the way, my friends. Uh, and they will do so with uh, expert maneuvering. Which one do I want to use? This seems fine. And they bring you to the outskirts of the Burrow Rhubarb. Hmm which is situated at the base of a large blackened tree. A ring of wooden palisades have been erected that dictate the edge of the main burrow. Uh, and as you look around, in the branches above, uh, they've pulled vines together and linked the branches to form floating terraces of farms. Uh, and it appears that they're being irrigated from vines, which have been cut open to allow water to drain down. And they kind of usher you down the main thoroughfare, hmm. explaining as they go. Yes, the it's quite peculiar that you show up now, but I suppose it's for the best. I love your little Halloween town. It's fantastic. I could definitely see myself staying at like a, like a B and B or something in here. This this is great. It is pretty cute. It is, it is quite homey, I, I assure you. Uh, you. Guys need to put out ads or something. This is this is fantastic. There's, yeah. Anyway, why why is it uh, that we that we showed up uh, ironic or uh, what you, whatever you said there? Well, you see, lately uh, there's been weird growths on the creatures that we hunt. Oh, they're fracking. That's what's happening. Problem solved. All you gotta do is um, just get the oil companies out, probably. What is fracking? <laughs> it's a process of injecting water. <laughs> you know, you there's, water there's Wikipedia. The ground, and then the ground vomits up resources that it needs to survive. Yeah, and then the deer get weird growths on them. Yeah, and people start growing things that they ain't supposed to. <laughs> These growths are more like uh, mushrooms. Uh, I think more like appendages. Um, of the mushroom type. Oh, they they are very red and very scary mushrooms. Where? Uh, see, that's that's part of the issue. We're not exactly sure where. Besides a section of the jungle. Well, lucky for you, I brought my mushroom knife, so I will definitely. I'm definitely down to find out where these mushrooms are and take a look and try and figure out what they are. Has anybody ingested these mushrooms? I, I think uh, a bee did. Uh, how did that go? Well, they swelled up with 
mushroom pollen, and then just that they're a mushroom now. So are they me. are they happy though? Oh, okay, Rosie, blueberries. Yeah. I'm only going to say this once: don't eat the mushrooms. I'm just testing the waters. All right, all right. I was only going to give it a little lick. You don't got to worry about it. Yeah, don't, you know. Don't do it. Everything in moderation, even weird forest mushrooms. That's right. So, Soki, if these two turn into mushrooms, we're leaving them, right? I wonder if we go back, if they turn into bigger mushrooms or if they would go back to like normal i i don't think i want to find out <laughs> i kind of do i'm intrigued yeah all right yeah, well, for real. allow me like... to take you to uh auntie rhubarb and she'll be able to answer any of your questions anti rhubarb oh no anti rhubarb i'm excited sound like a resistance group Take me to your leader. This, this is exceeding my expectations, you guys. This is great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Stop it. This is like Secret of Nim, but like so much better. Because it's us, guys. We're in it. And there's uh, no me, Nim. There is uh, Auntie Rhubarb. Uh, she is a older mouse, and a lot of a lot of gray in the whiskers and such. Uh, and as you're pulled into her small little burrow, she turns and just like, oh, "Hello, everyone. How can I help you?" Oh my goodness! How can we help you? Is there something on a high shelf that I can get, or or, or something? Oh, you're adorable. Please. It's fine. It's fine. I Thank you for letting us into your beautiful home, Auntie Rhubarb. Of course, darling. Of course. Can I get you some cheese? Oh, my God. I love cheese. Yes, please. Yes, please. Oh, let me cut a couple squares for you, darling. I, I hear you're here to help. Mm-hmm. Yes, we've sensed a great disturbance in the forest. And she pulls down a large cheese wheel and starts painstakingly cutting it into perfect cubes. Mm. Can Got we help you? Artisan at work here. Don't touch the cheese. All right, fair, fair, fair. Uh, no, just uh, the last few weeks have been quite tiresome on the community. First, what's been going weird, on? These weird mushroom spores started drifting out from deeper in the jungle. And then all the creatures started getting weird. And, and she just cuts a, like three cubes of cheese for each of you and starts handing them out. Uh, they, they starts going oh, crazy. You so and, and, you know, we, we're, we're quite capable fighters, but uh, we really need to get to the bottom of this. This is like season two, True Blood. You might have... Uh... I forgot what that lady was. A pixie? A demon? What was she? What, the witch lady? I had the first part of that joke and I, I fumbled the second. <laughs> <laughs> I think she was like a succubus or something. What's this, a succubus? A succubus? <laughs> Probably unrelated, but we'll, we'll we'll keep it on the back burner. Yeah. It's like Rosie could turn I don't want to violate your now, right? precious little ears. Auntie Rhubarb. Where's oh, my He's coming along. And she'll keep handing out pieces of cheese. Oh, thank God. I could stay here forever, to be honest. For real, this is the most beautiful amazing home warming heart heartwarming homecoming i've ever had in my life we don't get much visitors down here to the borough rhubarb i don't understand why you guys rock. that's what i was saying earlier you guys gotta advertise a bit because this this place is cozy you gotta open some b and b's 
Well, I suppose it is a lot quieter these days. You haven't exactly been around for the serpent wrangling. The what? Excuse me? Was there a guy with a flute? Oh, no, no. I, around here, uh, the main cause of death is being eaten alive by the giant snakes. Oh, shit. Wait, there's giant snakes? Yes, the very, very large snakes. Like uh, 12 miles long. They're fearsome predators. But Hey, guys, I just I just remembered that I had a, th uh, th um, a thing that I had to go to. Uh, I, got, I got to uh, go um, uh, to, to that. So no it's fine. It sounds like the problem they're having is not snakes. It's mushrooms. You're not scared of mushrooms, are you? No, but uh, giant snakes. Um, uh, yeah, I, I forgot. I had a. I got a. a mm. well, I'm really right. late. Amazing. Amazing. You see, all you the... see a raccoon become a chicken. <laughs> For real. Hey, I, I'm just. I'm I have obligations. Like you guys, just uh, you know. You're you're safe here, dearie. Uh, the, 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 there's people outside. They 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 fight the snakes. You see they. They form parties and go hunting for them. Oh, that's cool. But oh. the mushroom problem. Let's oh yes, let's, yes. Let's no. circle back around to that. You said that you know a a section of the forest. That There's mushrooms, mushroom. dreadful things. Uh, you see, if you, if you go deeper into the forest. You'll start seeing the spores, uh, and the spores themselves aren't a problem until they've landed on something, and that something's gotten moist, and then it sits for a few days. Mm. So, really, you should be able to pass through no problem, as long as you sufficiently wash off in salt water afterwards. Has to be salt water. Well, yeah, regular water just makes it grow. Okay, okay. Just make sure. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, all right, well, uh, but, what? Uh, all I know for sure is uh, one of our scouts went looking for the source and disappeared. Uh, but she was sure that it was in an old burrow deep in the forest. So, like Brooklyn or Queens? What is Hell's Kitchen, baby? Brooklyn. Yeah, never mind. All right, well, I guess we'll, we'll head that direction. What was the name of your scout? Oh, she she is a quite a dear. Uh, she goes by the name of uh, Lyra. Lyra. Sounds Just good. Lyra. And how long has Lyra been scouting? Oh, how long she's been a scout? Oh, 15 years. And how long has she been out on this scouting run? A week and a half. Mm, that's a little bit more than three days. Yes, a week is typically longer than three days. Yeah, three days has she had any, you know, traumatic things happen? Like a family member die recently or... I don't know, get, 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 like an illness or something. She, uh, you know, ran off? Oh, nothing comes to mind. possibility? She, she's a very dedicated young woman. She helps me here. She made that cheese. We have to find her. This cheese was delicious. Yeah, we got we got to find her. Oh, All right, that, we'll, we'll be, that yeah. cheese was like melt in your mouth quality, it, oh. mm, delicious. All right, Tube Squad, we got a we got a direction to head. We got a, we got a person cheese. to save. Head. Mushrooms to figure out what that's about. Solve the mushrooms, please. We could do that. Let's We're do Tube Squad. <laughs> We definitely can. And, uh, yeah, you, you guys head out back into the jungle. In general direction. 
Can we stop on the way and get some like antifungal cream and stuff? Uh, you, you could stop by some of the the the, the mouse houses, like a mouse CVS maybe. Um, so there's a like a you, you see a, a group of those those beetles, uh, and they seem to be running like a a, a kitchen almost. And a, a, as you're kind of passing by, they they kind of wave you over. Like, Can we help you? Do you require anything? I'm just looking for like a pharmacy, uh, apothecary, uh, even a witch, something, something like that. If you need something cooked up, we got you. Ah, uh, I could use some like uh, antifungal spray. If antifungal if spray coming right up. Oh damn, these guys are and good. You, you see all three of them oh, kind of yeah. hop, hop down, and then they they go to a large pot, and they just kind of throw that up onto the counter, and they just start throwing random things in there. And then lighting a fire underneath it. All right, just give it a moment. Yeah, no problem. Take all the time you need. We'll uh, we'll look around while we're waiting. And about five to ten seconds later, they they they, they kind of wave you back. Oh, it's, it's ready. It's ready. And as you come back over, uh, instead of like you know like a potion or a spray, uh, it's a bunch of food laid out for you. Uh, and it Dude. it actually looks deliciously made, and somehow uh, like they they've got meats in there that weren't in the stew, uh, and it's not even a stew; it's just like plates of food now. That's a, that's and they, they they gesture for you to eat. I I don't think these guys spoke English. I think that's what happened right now, there, guys. Um, is I think they just said yes now. Uh, you, you dig in, and you know, Tarkus, you're not, you're not a, uh, you're not usually an eater. You know, you just, you just exist. And, and as you bite into the food, you, you, it, it brings a tear to your eye. It's so delicious. It's the cricket burger all over again. And you're so not even good. sure what what type of meat you're eating, but it's good. Oh, what is this? The, the, the three beetles look at each other like, I think that was a... Was that that bee earlier? And then they all just kind of shrug. It's good, though. Is it good, Tarkus? I don't know about this roadkill cafe. Huh. Tarkus, you, you, you uh, feel energized. Uh, you feel like uh, you're tougher now. Uh, and, and you feel like you, you can take on the world. Is this the same bee that turned into a mushroom? Oh, no, it's meth. No, 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 no. no. That, that was uh, B2. This is B1. Parkus continues eating unbothered. <laughs> And, and they all stare at you, the rest of you, expectantly, like, please, please, please eat our food. I'm just, I, I asked Tarkus. Tarkus is good. I don't know about this, guys, yeah. You see me stopping? I asked you a question, but I, if that's the answer, I'll, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll start I, eating. I got a nut allergy, so I, um, no, I, nuts. I, I can't, unfortunately. I know, I know. It's, it's a it's a really bad allergy, so I, I I can't really take the risk unless I cook it myself. I am and, and so then there's sorry. a there's a there's a a beetle right behind you, and he kind of like pat, pat pat pats you on the back. Food? He's like, "It's okay, it's good. Just just take a bite." No, you don't understand. I, I didn't bring an EpiPen with me. It's good, good, good food. It's like spray. Hey guys, these these guys might be trying to murder us. We um, I don't, I don't know if we should eat this food. Then you look over to Soki and Tark is just chowing down. Uh, Who are you? And what have you done with blueberries? Uh, uh, Soki and Tark is, like I said, you eat it and uh, you feel energized, tougher, like you could take on the world. 
I think that. that. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna stay out. That sounds a lot like meth. <laughs> no, it's actually just bath salts. It's fine. I try it. <laughs> but everybody who eats it, uh, like I said, fills you with vigor. Oh man, blueberries, you're really missing out. This stuff's great. Yeah, it is pretty divine. Seth, they're not dung beetles. They are more like g generic beetles? Generic beetles. They're ladybugs. Oh no, I feel like I'm in the We Happy Few for a preview. <laughs> And everybody's eating the dead dog or whatever it is, and they all think it's delicious, but I didn't take the drugs, so I know it's not. No. <laughs> it just made good food. Um, but since you're not eating, uh, one of them does hand you a small vial of, uh, like, a clear liquid. Oh, shit, are we doing shots? <laughs> Since you don't eat the food, this is uh, that repellent for fungal stuff. Okay, all right, all right. I, I'm glad I didn't do it as a shot, but uh, I will put it in my little Mr. Bottle, and uh, I'll use that later. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good luck. Ho hope you don't turn into a B2 mushroom bed. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys got a bathroom in here bef before we go? Um, they kind of look at you and then, like, point to the forest. All right, I'll, I'll be right back. I gotta pee then. Right. And then at that juncture, it's up to you guys whether you indulge more in food or carry on into the jungle. I think it's up with me, but I'll, I'll prepare to head out. Probably shouldn't overindulge on food. Alrighty. Well, as you leave the burrow, one of the mice that had uh, found you guys earlier is going to request to join you. Do we have any extra Tomb Squad merch that we could uh, hand out? Can I deck her out yeah, in, of course in we do. Tomb Squad t-shirts? Yeah, it's it's <laughs> as is tradition. If you're joining the squad, you have to wear squad merch. Is, is there like a foam finger that you're going to give her to? I'm sure. I have yeah. a insulated mug. Ooh, ooh, <laughs> and, and, and one of those little plastic rubber coin purses that you squeeze and the little slit opens up. On the little keychain? Do you know what I'm talking about? We got those. Sure, but whatever you want to give me. We got tons of promotional merch. Yeah. Avant Garde sponsors us. Have you ever heard of them? I have no idea. You see, we, we live here. We, uh, we, we fight the big snake monsters. Doesn't leave a lot of time for getting out. Which is why you want to join us now to get out. Well, Lyra is a good friend of mine, so I want to help find her. Absolutely. Well, we are definitely here to help you, so let's go find your friend. And uh, she's going to introduce herself as Cheezums. Mm. Cheezums. That's quite the delicious sounding name. Yeah, my dad really liked cheese, and so he wanted to name me something that he loved, so. Yeah. That's sweet. That is sweet. All right. 
now begins the journey. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, you all set off into the dense brush on the search for Lyra. Uh, it's not especially difficult travel immediately from the burrow, but very soon the path narrows considerably and you run into large logs blocking your path and then it gets very humid. Almost mm. unnaturally so. You know, what whatever clothes you're wearing are very they're, they're sticking to you. And even Chisholm's kinda is like it's very very warm and sticky out here. It's, it's kinda weird. Yeah. Guys, I'm I'm becoming the sticky monster. I don't like this. It's pretty moist out here, guys. I definitely don't like it. I feel like my ears are like water slides. It's disgusting. Yeah, you're telling me. And uh, eventually you reach a point and Chisholm points out the, the path's supposed to cut through here but and in front of you is a tree that's fallen across the pathway. Mm. And immediately to the left and right of where the path would be are dense trees covered in these blood red vines. Uh, guys, we have and, a uh, problem. Yeah, Chisholm's is like, those Those are the vines, the, the ones that, uh, you know, drain all your blood. Yeah, so let's not go through those. You know what happens when you cut those vines? Oh, well, they're really hard to cut. Um, Though they do, if, if you're a able to cut them, they, uh, the, the sap inside is very sticky. Mm. Um, it makes good for, uh, like, like, uh, glues. Has anyone ever smoked the sap? Um, I mean, we've had fires here and there, but I don't think anybody's smoked it nobody's inhaled I did not inhale that's right so this is like is it like it sounds like hash to me like forest hash yeah this sounds like forest hash uh, we can probably market this stuff if we can uh, harness it Oh my god, and then it would bring tourism to the mice. Oh, this this would this could be great if if it gets you real fucked up. This yeah. is like a normal sized tree blocking the path, right? Not like Yeah, yeah. So this like. would be like a you know, like a, a twenty foot tree for you guys normally. So it's like incredibly tall as the, the small creatures that you are now. So it would be like climbing a mountain to get over it. It'd be something similar to that, yeah. Okay. It's definitely an obstacle that's been placed in your path. Is there another way around Cheatham's, or is this this is the path? We could we could try and find something. Uh, are any of you really good at uh, searching? Maybe. I, I mean, I'm pretty good with Google. What is a Google? I mean, I am a I got a pretty good sniffer. All right. So for each of you, uh, you can do a few things. You can either roll a Pathfinder check to see if you can find a path. Um, you can roll a uh, survivalist check to see if maybe there is a way you can use the materials here to maybe find a way through. Uh, or... If you want to cut, try and cut the uh, vines, you can roll a fighter check. I think I'm going to roll a finder. I think that's uh, smart. Unless I type it wrong. So, so however many d6 you want to roll, 
whatever you feel like your you know your skill level is. Soki's good at finding stuff. He's he's a collector of sorts. He's definitely got a, a good eye. All right. So you got one success and three that are not. Uh, so your six scale of failure is a factor of two. Yep. Boy. Um, so you're having trouble finding a decent path. There's a few that definitely could be usable, um, though you're not 100% sure you'll make it through without a couple nicks from the vines. And we don't want to touch the vines because they'll drink our blood. They'll definitely hurt. Alright guys, I got a, a way through, but it's going to be a tight squeeze. Anybody else find anything? Yeah, I mean, I got this fungal true. spray. <laughs> that's true. I could right, give him a squirt. I think that's more for the mushrooms. It's definitely marketed for the mushrooms. I mean, I can look around here... I'm a pretty good survivalist, and I could try to find something we could use to, like, maybe get over or get through the log. All right. Go ahead and roll your, your survivalist. All right. Uh, let me see here. All right, you got... Two successes and one failure, so your success is a factor of one. Uh, you're able to locate um, a couple vines that you think if you rig it up away, you might be able to launch each other across the uh, the log blocking the path. That sounds fun as hell. Do you guys want to do that? Yeah, it's better than my plan of getting a ton of boring machine. Soki, what do you think? Do you want to launch yeah. Tarkus? Do you want to launch yourself? Huh. Does it really work if we're having fun? That's it's true. pumpkin chunkin', but we're the pumpkins. It's true. We're the cute little pumpkins. Oh, Tarkus is going to roll up in like a little ball, I hope. <laughs> Tarkus could do that. That would be precious. Please do. is the most direct route like your ingenuity there rosie let's let's, let's get it done all right. all right so let's wrangle these vines up guys and i think that if we you know adjust it just this little bit we'll be able to launch each other over the log and the uh, log lady would be proud cheesums will so say uh, proud. she can launch you guys uh, and, and she can be the last to go. She, she thinks she can rig it up so she can do it herself. Mm-hmm. Yes. I, mean, I could, like, fly, potentially, if you don't want to be the one to be last. Don't, don't be silly. Squirrels don't fly. <laughs> well, what if I told you I was, in fact, a flying squirrel? Well, you're just a liar, so that's fine. Wait a minute. Are you going to iron giant this and die in the end? I don't plan on dying. Do you? I meant Rosie. The last Me? behind. Uh, no. <laughs> that definitely sounded like a very not. I was trying to no. be Vin Diesel, but I couldn't do it. I'm not that. <laughs> I'm not that. That base, I guess. Let me. No. No. <laughs> no. All right. Cheesums is going to roll to aim you guys as well as she can. You got this. Go, Cheezums, go! Ooh! All right. To success. Look at that. So she is able to get you guys over the log. 
Is that like over the hump, but the log instead? Oh, kind of. It's similar to I that. I mean, it is know. Wednesday. I know. I'm trying it's to get you over there. Um, now, what Every I need from all of you day. is, uh, how do you land? Well, I'm going to take out my kite and I'm going to gracefully glide down. Okay, so to Toski, uh, you, you cheat. That's fun. Yep, that's what I do. <laughs> I put on my oh, heelys right. and I use them as landing gear and I come to a nice uh, sliding stop. How well do heelys translate to jungle terrain? They're fine. I got the off-road ones. Oh, you, you got the, the all-terrain wheelies? Yep. Yeah, we got the best of the best. They were custom made for us. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the sponsor of this episode, and that's a great segue into it. Anyways, if you'd like to go to heelies.com and order yourself a, your own pair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I tried Nadri. Have you got the feelies for some wheelies? <laughs> well, never fear, <laughs> we've got some heelies. Tim Squad branded Heelys. Check them out at Heelys.com slash Tim Squad. Remember to Thank use you, hashtag Tim Squad at your checkout. Thank you. Offer ends soon. Tomb use code Tim Squad 20 for 20% off your first order. <laughs> Don't forget to follow. Hit that subscribe and comment. Make sure you get the bell. <laughs> Void word prohibited. Ex uh, exceptions apply. Uh, but yeah, no, you. You guys all land, whether it's by Heelys or Kite or... I assume, uh, Tarkus, you're going to roll up into a ball? I'm going to roll up into a ball, and my landing is me just bouncing off the ground and mm. still rolling. And then, uh, Rosie, I, I, I'm assuming you're you're quite good at landing. I don't know. They don't call me Rosie Cheeks for nothing. <laughs> I land on my ass quite a bit, to be completely honest with you, but... In this circumstance, I think I'm gonna nail it. Yeah, I think I think you all get over just fine. N nothing crazy happens. I mean, maybe there's a little mud here or there, and then shortly after, uh, Cheezums flies over, and then lands in some vines, and like ends up upside down above you guys. Mm. I could use some help. Are these red vines or normal vines? Other normal vines. Okay. Let us help. <laughs> let's uh, let's let's. Don't we have a up. giant? Don't we have like a stick that grows or something like that? That was so supposed to be. That was supposed to be private. That was supposed to be a private about. conversation you... that we had in confidence. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Didn't didn't one of us get like a like a like a stick that can um get bigger or something? That doesn't sound right hmm. either. But you I know what no I'm talking what about? Talking about. I have no idea. I, I, I'm gonna swoop in here and save Rosie real quick. She is talking about she. You guys got a tooth from the tassel worm that can That's that can change shape and become a different kind of weapon. But it's got to be weapon. It can okay. become a bow, or it can become a sword, or it can become an axe, but those are all it does. It changes between weapons. Thank you. Okay. I was so con I was confusing myself. Okay. That will not work. Never mind. I think we have a rope, though, too. I think we just found the two. I don't talk about anything. I, I, don't, I, I don't remember talking about anything. Uh, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> the, the Tomb Squad Tower? Yeah, we all stack up on yeah. each other's shoulders and... Uh... It's like bring it on, but Tomb Squad. I would have figured like you guys would have done some like cheerleading and just hopped Rosie yeah, up there. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. I mean, yeah. we worked for the NFL for a while when it got old. Rosie's mm. on top of the tower. Yeah, we ain't no Paula Abdul, man. Well, I think regardless of what you do, you're able to easily get Cheezums off of the vines. Fantastic. Cheezums? You're safe. <laughs> She she brushes herself off and she's kind of nervous. She's like, ah, thank, thanks. I... Friends forever, Cheezums. Sure, sure. Tomb Squad? Tomb Squad? Tomb Squad? Tomb Squad? Very right. quietly, Cheezums is like, Tomb, tomb Squad? 
Yeah, okay, that's the spirit. Yeah, Let's go. Spot. Then we just start marching further in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you march further in, and the light that's been shining through the jungle canopy, it's kind of getting darker now. But instead of it being like pitch black, uh, it's slowly fading to a like reddish color. It's, it's it's weird. It's it's like, like suddenly the the vines are being more prominent, and then as you get further and further in, now there's a a red mushroom, another one, and then the ground you're on isn't exactly the the jungle floor no more. And then it, then it dawns on you you're not you're not where you were anymore. Shit. Oh, am I big again? Can I be big again, please? Uh, no, you're still small. Yeah, just like real life. Fuck. And, and you find yourselves here. This seems a lot like Nazca Valley of the Wind. Are there like giant snails or something we gotta kill? What? Yeah, it does seem like that, doesn't it? Looking in the distance, um, these mushrooms are now taking the place of the trees. And in the air, you smell... Is that, is that brimstone? That's what? weird. And you can see a shadow slithering through these mushroom trees. And Anyways, guys, I forgot I had a thing that I had to do, so I'm gonna head back... And get out of here, because um, uh, unrelated to the scary snake thing, I have an uh, obligation. And, and as you go to turn and leave, Cheezums grabs your shoulder and like, Please, you, you gotta help us. You, you, gotta sa you gotta save her. And, and she's giving Bye. you the most biggest puppy dog eyes. And like she's tearing up a little mm. bit. Like, Please. I don't <laughs> Tomb Squad's the only one that can help. Fine, but I'm gonna complain about it. And then, like immediately, she drops it. I'm like, yes, good, okay. Now let's 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 move forward. And uh, you proceed further into this mushroom-scaped place of danger. So uh, I'm going to guess that this is probably the anomaly, guys. Now we just got to figure out what's causing it. I thought this yeah. was just like that Minecraft biome. What the hell is sure. Minecraft? So anyways, in the early 2000s, there was a guy named... Uh, uh, yeah, it was like what? 2011 or something. I don't know. Huh. There was a guy named Notch. It turned out to be not a great guy. I think that's anyways, long story short, it. there was a mushroom uh, place. The end. Walking Since forward. You're all searching, I hope. Yeah. yeah. Could you all give me hunter rolls? Right. Okay. All right. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, for whatever reason, 
and it frightens me to think about this. Uh, blueberries, you're extremely skilled at hunting. <laughs> That's right. And you're able to make out the markings that have been left by another creature that isn't a snake. Uh, and it appears to be little signs left by a mouse. Is it the mouse we're looking for? It, it just might be. And if you if point it out to Chisholm, she'll she'll look over and be like, "Oh yeah, that's." Theodora leaves those when she's when she's traveling in the jungle. Like a like a marker trail. Yeah, yeah. We'll see, it, it, when when we get lost in the jungle, we start leaving these markings, and we have our own little things that you know they personify us, and and. That way, if we're gone for a while, uh, others can come and find us. And then if we're, like, hurt or something, they can, you know, locate us easier. So all we do is have to follow the trail. We'll find, find Lyra. Uh, hopefully. Uh, I mean, this place doesn't feel like home. smells bad yeah this smells like crap guys I don't like it here oh god we're in Hornell <laughs> I thought we were in Bath bro you know for for quite the name it's it's pretty stanky there it's, it's definitely a smell Ooh, smell Uh -huh. All right. A little bit more tracking later. Uh, unfortunately for blueberries. What are we, this, a VCR? Yes. Uh, this is going closer to where that shadow was. Um, you come across what appears to be a stream. Um, though not of water. It's some sort of steaming liquid. Uh, it's not like lava, but it, it looks hot. And At it, least it, it's not a hot tub stream. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if we were allowed to do that. Uh, but, so it's uh, warm, liquid. It, well, it's definitely bubbling uh, warm. Is so, it you like know, the ooze from Ghostbusters too? I mean, it's it's orange. It's orange oh red. Oh my god! You guys! It's ghosts! It's plasma. It's ectoplasma. It doesn't look like ghosts. Yeah, it it's doesn't ghosts. look like ghosts. I mean, if, if you mushroom. lean in and sniff it, it, it kind of smells like cheese. What? Nah. It's like a fondue. Oh it's my god, it's a fondue stream. You guys, we've arrived in heaven. I'm never going home. I don't. Ah, uh, could be from under. Oh. Well, it's like really bad cheese. Well, and, you know, you, you say that, Soki, and, and you're looking at it, and then every once in a while, you'll see a little top of a mushroom bubble up. Mm. And then it sinks back down. It's stinky and, cheese. And then, That's you know, it bubbles back good. up again. It's like that Limburger stuff. We don't want that. It's, it's, yeah, this is artisan cheese. Yuck. It probably tastes disgusting. Oh. But unfortunately, it is Hipster blocking cheese. your path. And it's, it's in, in normal size terms that you would equate to, it, it's about 30 feet across of just, just bubbling, stinky would cheese. It? We be able to construct some type of craft to go over or trudge through said cheese stream of bubbly mushroom goodness. I mean, there are uh, pieces of mushroom behind you. Uh, some pieces of really dark wood. There is a ch chance that you're able to uh, maybe construct something. Now, 
correct me if I'm wrong, but we don't want to touch the mushrooms, right? Because we don't want the spores to get on us. You should be fine as long as they're washed off rather With the quickly. With salt water, yeah. right? Okay. And, you, and you do have that fungal spray. We do. Have I think we can spray. Gilligan's Island this. I think we just take one of these mushroom caps, flip it on over, and uh, go for a sail. Um, it might do serve us better to make a craft out of this dark wood behind us and use the mushrooms as paddles. Both have their pros and cons. But it's up to Tomb Squad, man. We can take a vote. There's five of us. Doesn't sound like they would work. I'm part of Tomb Squad. Yeah, that's why we gave you all the stuff. Yeah, that's why you have the travel mug and the coin purse and the shirt, sure. all the avant garde sponsored stuff. Didn't you, you get the the intro email? What's your Gmail? Let's send it to their Gmail again. What's your Gmail? Yeah, you should have got a pamphlet in your email. I, I don't know yeah. why you didn't. <laughs> Y'all say a lot of interesting words for things I don't understand. Please don't love me in with them. It's... It, it's it's part of the feeling of being in Team Squad is not knowing what the hell they're talking about half the time. So you, you're you're already fitting in wonderfully. I don't know what I'm talking about half the time. It's fine. See, Team Squad. To Team Squad. We'll work on it. I think the 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 mushroom boat sounds pretty good. Mushroom hell boat? yeah. I did that one summer. Wait. Oh, you're killing me. You're killing me. Sorry for your loss. Mushroom boat it is, guys. Let's do it. All right. Um, let us get some crafting rolls of some sort. I don't know what I'm going to have you guys use. Sit right back and you'll hear a tale a tale of a fateful ship. Tell you what. Have, let's have you guys roll what you think would work to help craft this mushroom boat. I mean, Blueberries is an engineer, right? I think Rosie's pretty crafty. Whoa, bro! <laughs> what the hell? What the hell? Why? Why? There's definitely a 17 D6 on the board right now. Um. Okay. Okay. 11 of the 17 are successes, I guess. I, I, you know what? I'll allow it. I'll allow it for for this group in particular. Uh, yeah, uh, blueberries. You're able to craft out of this uh, mushroom cap. Um, you know those those like uh, teacup rides. Ooh, where, where like you all sit around and there's a thing in the center. You, you do something similar to that. That sounds like fun. Yeah, and you spin it around and make your friends yeah, syrup. It's great. There, there, there's like on the bottom. There's actually like fins to help spin it. Does anybody need Please. any Dramamine before we start? Rosie Please. reaches into her rucksack. I rucks rediscovered set. the joy of eating. I got you. I do not want to discover the horrors of vomit. Tarkus, Rosie that's, tosses that's, Tarkus some Dramamine. That's the best part. You don't even know that throwing up exists. <laughs> yeah. You get to discover it. I remember oh, yeah. that day. It was not fun. <laughs> <laughs> you're all able to hop into this uh, mushroom cap ride of destiny uh, 
and you're suddenly whisked down the stream of molten Gouda. Molten Gouda? <laughs> yeah, it's no Gouda. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> Those are words I did not think I would hear in a sentence. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> I love it so much. And now I, I want each of you to give me one d6. Just roll one d6. This is going to be uh, luck. How lucky do you get as you go down? Oh, gosh. All right. Not very. Hey, when you roll one dice, it shows up. I mean, everybody but blueberries is be pretty lucky. I'd like oh. to roll 47 dice, please. Mm, I think I'm going to have to veto this one. I second the veto. Let's go. All right. It's okay. Cheezums is also unlucky. Um, You guys drift about a minute down. It takes you quite a ways. Further than you want it to be. Because you're, you're all so busy uh, uh, spinning the boat around in circles. Yeah, we're having fun. Hands up. It, 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 the boat's are rocking. If the bucket's rocking. Uh, and eventually you you hit the other quote unquote shore. And oh man, I thought that was a bagel at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> this is an amazing like mushroom cap boat bit. ride. I love it. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, and the moon. The, the, the Gouda splashes a bit. And Ooh. unfortunately, that uh, is what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Cheezums and blueberries, you get some in your fur. And, and you know, it's like it's like gum in the fur. It's not not exactly delectable. <sighs> Does anybody have any peanut butter? Whatever it takes to get the shit out of here. <laughs> it, it appears we've been cheesed. Well, I'm pretty cheesed off. I don't like this. Cheese to meet you all. <laughs> um, but eventually the time comes to get out of that uh, cap boat of destiny. get off on the other side, right? Yes, you've managed to make it to the other side. Shuffle some things around. <laughs> uh, and following the trail, uh, more of these rivers of uh, Gouda seem to be popping up. Mm. Uh, it's quite... Uh, annoying to traverse but with your recent experience you, you can either hop on some mushroom caps to get across the smaller ones or make another boat uh, eventually you come to a a clearing of sorts a field uh, and right before heading down <laughs> uh, a mouse comes out of nowhere and stops you guys What are you all doing here? We are looking for one Lyra. That's right. Uh, first off, my name's Lyra. Mm. And Jesus, is that you? And uh, Cheezums is just standing off the side, kind of in awe right now, because she, she was not expecting to run into Lyra this close. We'll use this icon. Why not? Uh, do, do you guys have 
any idea what's out here? Mushrooms. Nope. Yes, but worse. What is it? You see, this is... This isn't the normal forest I've determined. This is weird. Um, mushrooms, kind of annoying. Uh, mushroom snakes, r really bad. Mushroom snakes, huh? Yeah. He, yeah. yeah. Really um, I've been trying to figure out a way to uh, deal with it. I, I've, I've been. I, 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 <laughs> this thing is is big. It's it's big. Wait, there's mushroom snakes. Didn't didn't anti oh, anti? No, oh, wow. <laughs> didn't Auntie Rhubarb <laughs> explain that the the mushrooms? Uh, <laughs> God. <laughs> yeah, the mushrooms. They they get on. Get on animals and change them. Just look. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they, well, you see, uh, I think I found the source. You found the source? Yeah, and, it, and as she goes to explain, you just feel the ground rumble. Oh, jeez. And... Oh, no, it's Tremors! <laughs> And from where you're looking at her, behind her, coming out of all this molten gouda, is a humongous snake covered in mushrooms. And seemingly looking to notice you all. And uh, Lyra kind of turns, she's like, see, I told you, I, uh, that, I don't know how to deal with that. I think that's the source of the problem. Uh, uh, I'm a, can I'm we a call it a tactical air strike or something? I'm going to bring you all over there in just a second. Hopefully this shows up. Oh, I hate good. that. Holy <laughs> shit. All right. Glorious. So this is what we're dealing with? Oh, my God. God. Yeah. I... Anyways, I got something I gotta go do. Um, <laughs> I, I'll. Uh, mm, yeah. Uh, I am so late. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, yeah. See, normally when we fight snakes, you can you can you know chip off like the tail and it weakens it, or you know some scales will come off. It makes a weak point. Uh, that. Fuck all that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I could I could understand why you have that sentiment. And, what if and, we put like cake on its tail so that it ate its tail and then ate itself? What cake? I don't I don't know, I haven't tried that. I mean I got this cake. You gotta put it on the tail. How do you get on the tail, though? Probably like a ratchet strap or something, but I didn't bring any of those. Hmm. Any ideas? I don't know. Does anybody have like a like a ring pop or something? Have you tried setting it on fire? Listen, I'm a mouse. I'm good at mouse things. Fire is not one of them. Are we gonna fire? Do we have any way to go with fire? Uh. I forgot the flamethrower. It's like my firebird isn't here. He's 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 normally the fire of Tomb Squad, right? E two. Did anyone bring their F-16s? I did not, but I have my pipe lighter and my hemp wick. Maybe we can rig oh. up something oh, like an explosive or something. 
Does that or mean that anything you could, like? Are you going to smoke the snake out? Or we can get hella high out. Let's do that. Mm-hmm. You got any more of that sap stuff? <laughs> I don't think we got Get that sticky, Iggy. Let's go. You know what? That, that's fine. <laughs> Rosie digs into her purse and grabs yeah. her big Gandalf pipe and passes it over to Soki to hold on to because he's to the left. To All the right. left. That's fine. Yeah. I think if uh, <laughs> we're, we're, we're really careful about it, we can run up the back and then get to its head. I think so, too. What if it just wanted to smoke with us? <laughs> Lord is making everybody confused. Because we're smoking. Because <laughs> everybody's getting high. Cool. Cool. Yeah, that's all that's happened. This isn't this isn't the first time that we've I mean the, the the snake, despite being like large and scary looking, is definitely like just meandering. You gotta... and... I mean, oh shit, I'm gonna roll it a joint. It, 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 it's meandering, but you know it's giving off like puffs of uh, of spores from mushrooms. Mm. See, that's why I don't want to get close to this friggin' thing. Well, it looks like it's gonna get close to us. <laughs> I. <laughs> all right. Uh, how about you all? R- roll persuader. Yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> oh shit! Rosie did are terrible. You, are you feeling it, Cole? Are you feeling it? This, this game went directions I was not expecting, but I'm totally here for it. Why? <laughs> It's so fun to roll a million. <laughs> so instead of like rushing towards this thing, like any normal adventuring party you would do, you know, the, the status quo. Um, a lame adventuring party might be that. Yeah, a lame adventuring party. The tomb squad instead. Does the tomb squad, you know, toke. And uh, you guys just start lighting up whatever you have. Sending off these large puffs of smoke. And, tomb uh, squad. Uh, right, tomb, tomb squad. squad. <laughs> adventure. And the the snake kind of slithers on close, and then just inhales a large puff of this smoke. And you just see its its eyes go really wide, and then it kind of like. Like sinks back a little bit and just just starts nodding its head. Yeah, snakey boy, you want a shotgun? Yeah, bro. Yo, give this guy the double stuff. Yo, you got to give him a grab. Give him a grab with his own g- gouda cheese. Why do I feel so funny? Cause this is that good, good stuff that freaking Madge gave me from his little mushroom homies. I'd like to uh, interject here now. Uh, viewers at home, please toke responsibly. Do it in a legal state or, you know, at home by yourself. Uh, please be That's responsible. That's correct. Please smoke responsibly. Oh, my, my hands are so huge. And it's like I got the old body back. It, it, Tar- Tarkus, <laughs> Tarkus feels the fluffy. Snacky's, the Snucky's little nose it keeps flaring up and down. Yeah, and and you know the snake's now chilling next to you guys, and the the two mice there they're they're like confused but just kind of vibing. <laughs> uh, and and the the mushroom spores are kind of like dying out. We and, did it. Marijuana cured the curse. Yeah, and, and the snakes, like, the, the scales are kind of turning back to normal, and it's just like... <laughs> you guys, I think the cannabinoids is blocking the receptors of whatever this fungal infection is doing to the snake. That's a side effect of the marijuana poisoning. That's 
Well, don't stop my now. Come on, guys. Cheat that. This is the snakey snag. He's a snack. He's a snack. He's just a snakey snack. And, and you know, uh, Lyra is gonna uh, pull out some of that sap. Oh yeah, Lyra. So like, some of that, sprinkle that right on Supposed here. to be like for for like stopping bleeding. You know, it, it, it's sticky. Sticky, but, icky, icky. But I see yeah. you guys. You know, doing some fun stuff. Let's see what happens. Oh, we're all about the fun stuff. Throw that bitty right on top. Let's spark it. Let's chief it. Let's go. And, and yeah, they just toss it in there for you guys. Oh, it bubbles all up good. Yeah, <laughs> and, and the smoke turns, uh, it, it's like green. Whoa. <laughs> and and a, as you breathe it in. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> 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 He's so confused. He doesn't know what he's doing anymore. <laughs> and you breathe it in, and it's like you taste a hint of like like cheese mixed with cherries. It's really weird, but it, it's good. Jeez. And when, then you exhale, and it, it comes out as a. Uh, like a purple smoke. What? This is some freaking magical smoke. That's that perp. It's that that's that green perp. That's that magical green perp. All right. So what we've learned is that they got that sweet, sticky, icky perp. They got a friendly ass snake as long as you get them high, and uh, it cures poisoning. It's great for B and B's. Like this, this is a great tourist town. I would, va- I would vacation here. Hundred percent. Oh, yeah. And the the two mice are just like, yeah. Rosie. The burrow's so boring without people. Rosie's so excited about the giant snake that she crafts him a flower crown and gives it to him, throws it right on his head. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's, it's definitely way too small for him, but he's definitely going to wear it. It's the thought. It's the thought that counts, Snicky boy. You're and, my friend now. And somehow, despite you know everything being against it, uh, you, you've managed to turn the situation into a, a great thing by making some good friends. I mean, that's typical for Tomb Squad. This is Tomb Squad. Tomb Squad. Snake, what is your name? And it it leans in real close. And just... Steven. Steven! (laughs) My name is Steven. (laughs) It's Steven. Love it. Love it. Steve, you're fantastic. We love you. What's been going on around here, Steven? It's like we uh we see this. This is the normal. Bathrooms. And yeah, what no. was with the mushrooms? Did we get rid of those? Are, 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 as, uh, as you guys are smoking, the mushrooms, Steve. Uh, all all the, the the smoke's kind of clearing all the mushroom spores. Ooh. And and you know Steven's looking way much better. He he doesn't he's not looking like nasty anymore. Oh you know, my god, this is a back. Cheech and Chong plot. Yes. And oh my god. <laughs> is the Lasaber full of pot? Is it made of pot? <laughs> oh my god, is it gonna resize and be full of pot? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I think I think you guys have somehow managed to uh, make friends, not war, man. That's usually how we roll. We like to try and keep the peace, unless we gotta, you know, stir shit up. Then we'll take it down. But uh, as much as uh, Steven wants to stay with you all, he, he kind of like wants to get out of here. Oh yeah, man, I understand. You can go home. Don't worry yeah. about. It. Well, he, he's like, my, my home's the, the fourth. 
Oh, are you and lost? He, he offers you all a ride on him. Yeah. <gasps> Wah! Yes, please. Steven, oh my god, it's like the never ending story. Now. And and together you all are gonna slither out of here. And once again, kinda like how you, you entered this place, it kinda fades back into the into the regular forest, and there you are in the in the in the, the jungle canopy and everything and and we're Steve all sitting around a fire, smoking a joint, high yeah. as fuck. Steve's like a normal snake again. He's not doesn't got the mushrooms on there, and you, you somehow managed to find something that counteracts the mushroom spores. Ooh, yeah, it's the special stuff. I'm telling you, it's this has been a great grassroots. Yeah, for real. This is like, I don't know. This has been a wild adventure, guys. And, and yeah, you, y'all are somehow hoofing it back. You make it back to 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 the mouse town, the burrow. Um, th they definitely are not too kind to uh, Stephen, but y you're all able to turn things around a little bit. You know, tell him it's just like it's the crown, the crown. We've we do. You guys get the entire burrow high. Oh, Let's go. Yeah. Does um, Auntie Rhubarb bring out her cheese again, please? Oh, so you, you guys make it back, right, right back to you know, Auntie Rhubarb. You're explaining everything that's happening. She's got a fresh cheese wheel. Ah. And you, you're queen. explaining uh, how, how you use the the smoke leaf to really you know counteract everything. And she's just like, you know, let me hit some of that shit. Here you go, Auntie. Uh, Rosie leans over and passes her the pipe. And and she she takes a long, long <laughs> a long toke out of that thing, and and she exhales. You see some of the smoke coming out of her ears, and she's just like. Oh, yeah. Really, really relax the old joints. It sure does. And, and she she passes it. That's some good shit. That's like the best. That's primo. And, uh, I mean... Rosie... Go ahead. I mean, that's that's... You guys managed to solve the, the, There's no more anomaly here. We did it! Fixed it by just lighting up. That's right. There's nothing a little cannabis or a little, you know, a little herbal refreshments can't can't help. And yep. Rosie sticks her paw on her little rucksack and gives a fat sack to Auntie Rhubarb for all of the cheese blessings that she provided to the tomb squad on this fine day. Oh, and she she's she's like, oh, here you go, dearie. And she pulls out like sixteen more wheels of cheese. And yes. as, as any good grandma does, she just starts loading you all up. Oh my god, guys! Cheese for days. I feel like oh. she's loading us up with cheese wheels, and we're just offloading tomb tomb squad bird. Yeah. <laughs> you 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 know. call me if you need something taken off a shelf or like an errand ran or like you know. Thank you. I don't know why, but ever since we started smoking that stuff, I got really hungry. That's what the cheese is for, darling. We love it. I love cheese. cheese is that the cheese. end of this game? I I, I think wow. that's the end of this game, Alan. Oh, <laughs> okay. That, we went... Everybody else <laughs> in hell this whole month was oh. seeing people get tortured. <laughs> fucking people are falling on saws and getting oh. bisected. A Ooh. giant crow attacked a town that was starving. What did you hit a street sign or something? Fuck. You guys just yeah. got high. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> we're fun. <laughs> I mean, who else but Tomb Squad goes to hell? Meets a giant hell mushroom snake and just decides, you know what? 
Let's toke it, bro. Hell yeah, I mean... That's How else do you fight a big-ass like snake? Kind of, for real, that's all you can do in that kind of situation. Man, offer him a little friendship, a little smoky smoke. I, I mean, <laughs> if he turns it down, we know he's a scrub, you know? It's, it is what it is. It, it's, it's hilarious. Yeah, we don't want no scrubs. This game was originally supposed to be like you know early morning in cartoon but like with uh you know the the mouse are supposed to be monster hunters this is monster hunter mouses and then here we are <laughs> talking it up. I, mean, I pride myself just... in throwing things way off track i mean look at the sick clouds in the background of our profile pictures come on it, you had to have beautiful. seen this coming it's beautiful I, I love you guys you guys get a great game so let's go. What, what canon do I need to keep track of? Okay, we've got we got Cheezums, we got Anti Rubar, we got a giant snake named Um Steve. Steven. 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 Yeah. Steven. Sorry, my bad. Steven. Um, another mouse named uh, Lyra. A mouse named Lyra. Okay. Yep. 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 And also, like beetles are like palicos here. Yep. Beetles are so, chefs, apparently. Yeah, yeah like just, <laughs> it's just if like, you play Monster Hunter, the little cats that follow you around, that's basically what the beetles are. <laughs> yep. Oh, too dank. Nah. <laughs> the, the funniest part was I was debating with the Slayer Curse citing like Monster Hunter style monsters. That, that's. <laughs> Yeah, you could, you could, oh, um, sorry, I'll get you and Osiria, um, the abilities from those classes. I've actually been, like, making sure they look good right now. And I was working on, um, I was working on that and also trying to work on the seamstress, uh, class, like the, the sewing one. But I got this, yeah, stitch crafted, but I got distracted by si trying to figure out how to make, um, Josh a class that is just no roles, only gifts. It's like he, he never has to roll anything. He just has to show me a gift that's like applicable to it, and we'll mm -hmm. we'll figure out one to twenty where it rates. He, he just has to provide high quality memes that are somehow yeah related. high quality memes. And, like I can never see the same twice. If I ever see the same one twice, it's a one. Meme crafter for sure. Oh, you'll never see the same meme. Give He's a kind of that class so she doesn't have to roll. I guess the real question is, uh, what do we call this uh, sap uh, weed oh, stuff? Oh, that's a good question. It's a sticky icky, isn't it? Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say, is it just the sticky icky? icky? This, is, this is like quite plausible though, because it's like the sticky icky. It's supposed to be a medicinal thing for like normal wounds, but somebody just decided to toke it up, and then that's where we're at. It's medicinal for on the skin and in the skin, through your lungs. Right. Doesn't taste very good, which is why yeah. it's, why it's just to promise not to put any into like be positive. I'm not sure what would happen. Nobody oh, makes man. that promise. Come on, guys. That promise was not made. I don't ask for much. <laughs> Do you think we could stop me from getting? <laughs> the next scene is just Rosie using B as a bong. Oh. <laughs> that would be Hold. amazing. <laughs> Hold still, be positive. <laughs> Hold still, B. I'm positive this is gonna fuck us up. <laughs> I I'm gonna be in the car. Oh yeah, so. Thank you, Cole, for running this game. Absolutely fucking insane. And thank you, Tomb Squad, for doing exactly what I knew Tomb Squad was gonna do. Except for I didn't, I didn't know which direction, but I knew, I knew it was gonna happen. We, we pivoted Eek. a few spots. And that's that's all. I'm at. Just have fun. Yeah. The game's supposed to be fun. Everybody just have fun. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Good. For sure. Tomb Squad. Tomb Squad. Tomb Squad. And now there's another member of Tomb Squad. But when right. she leaves, she's just mouse size. She doesn't get bigger. Yeah, That's she's, okay. like, uh, she's like Brom. She yeah, can oh, be she's... mad. She can hang with Matt. Oh my god, I'll get her a little backpack. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she 
she wields a, a great sword, mouse sized great sword, but I mean, yeah. Right. That's more than what Madge can wield. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Absolutely. This game went great. H hilarious. On Friday, we are playing um, Blades in the Dark. That is Renick, Akana, Iskra, and Cole signed on because there was a last minute like cancellation. Well, important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, then Saturday we are playing Kira's game and we'll announce what exactly that game is very soon. And then Sunday we are playing, if Nika knows that I don't, I don't know off the top of my head. Sunday is sleep away. Yeah, Sunday is. I thought it was, but I was like making sure that game is going to be wild. You guys will get like the link to it and everything very soon. Then, yeah, I'm very excited for all of these games coming up. Mm. Uh, it's going to be a hell do, of a weekend. I'm quite sure. Do we need a recap for this game? Yeah, if you can, if you can do a recap for it, for sure, let us know. Yeah, I, I can do it right now. Uh, so, Tomb Squad was sent to investigate an anomaly from a small island uh, southwest of Yoke, known as Mouse Home. Uh, they visited there. They got shrunk down and turned into smaller versions of themselves. Tarkus becoming an armadillo. Uh, and then uh, journeyed through the jungle, met some small mice, and they brought to their attention that uh, some crazy mushrooms were getting in the way of their normal life. They investigated some more and found a giant mushroom snake and through some shenanigans decided to get high with the snake and that solved all their problems. Yeah, that does seem like a very good recap of what happened. Oh, I think that's a good place for us to wrap up because we didn't want to like run super late since we had to start a little bit later. Yeah. So we're gonna head right off, and we Hope will see y'all on like, Friday. Flying around the screen right now. <laughs> we'll see you on Friday. Guys, right. Look at him. We're gonna head off forever because there's a little flying plane and it's about to get really noisy. So bye forever, everyone. Goodbye, Goodbye everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.